After the global financial crisis of 2008, the financial sector has entered a different phase, and Islamic finance is no exception. More and stricter regulation, stronger compliance requirements, larger capital commitments, and better risk management are part of the new paradigm. We are grateful to Islamic banking world, particularly Bahrain and Malaysia, for providing their experiences and enabling us to develop a comprehensive Islamic banking regulatory framework which has received widespread appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, I will reiterate that every crisis brings an opportunity. It is on us how we benefit from it. The enhanced emphasis on stability of financial system is the hallmark of the changing financial landscape. Development of Islamic finance industry with its true value proposition has the ability to extend soundness to the overall financial system. You all know recently AOC promulgated a new standard on investment account and also Malaysia uh, <coughs> ratified a law on Islamic Financial Services Act in 2013 and uh, in effect now in 2015. We have an active and efficient Islamic capital market. There have been numerous challenges in this respect, including the continuous supply shortage of Suku. Moreover, many Islamic financial institutions are not ready to be rated and uh, for us uh, it is an exciting journey when we started uh, Islamic finance just uh, less than 10 years ago. Uh, we started with uh, very little things and uh, with uh, conventional finance failing down and uh, giving a lot of pressure to our economy.